everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's been like a little over two weeks since my last video, but um, I'm back. Time just got away from me. I had just been a little preoccupied, but I have some good news. Your girl got a new job, so I finished all my onboarding stuff last night. So I guess we'll get the ball rolling and everything on Monday, and then I can start training and get me a paycheck again. <laughs> so I'm super duper excited about that. And yes, my hair is curly. How are we liking it? I'm loving it. So um, I don't know if you remember, but um, a few videos back, um, it was my March favorites or something like that. I was talking about the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey uh, Shampoo Conditioner and Leave-In. And I said, you know, at, you know, when I was straightening my hair, I was like, man, I can't wait to see what my hair would look like, um, you know, curly using these products. And oh my goodness, um, you know, I washed my hair a few days back, but today I just put some conditioner in. I let it sit for about, I don't know, like 10 minutes while I was, you know, um, in the shower. And um, I made sure I detangled and everything. And then I put on the leave-in and I just let it air dry. And I don't know, maybe about 30 minutes ago, um, after about two or th about three hours of letting it air dry, I just finished it off with my um, my diffuser, and oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Like my hair doesn't feel stiff. I actually have length. Sometimes my hair shrinks so much. I mean, it's it's like right under my um, my ears. So I, I have some length. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And I mean, it is just so shiny and it doesn't look dry or thirsty or anything. Oh, that's some good stuff. I am so happy I got to try that. So anyway, back to this video. Um, I don't know. I was just thinking, let's just play with some makeup. I am using an oldie but a goodie, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This is my absolute favorite palette next to the Just Peachy palette that I always use in my videos. But this is like my second favorite. I wanted to do something with color, but I don't know. It's just so rainy and cloudy where I'm at today. I'm not really feeling color. I want to do something just, you know, nice and neutral, but different from what I normally do. Um, you know, and you can tell just by looking at this palette, the colors that I like to gravitate to. But I want to do something a little different. I'm thinking about this um, this dusty rose color right here. I've never really used that before. Um, everything else I've pretty much used. Uh, but I've never really played around with the dusty rose. So I think I'm going to start with that and see where it takes us. So, we're going to go ahead and prime our lid, and um, see that nail is kind of long, let's use this one. So I am using my Painterly Paint Pot from MAC, good stuff. Just using this so we have a nice, beautiful, smooth base to work with and a little bit goes a long way. I've I was watching myself in other videos it just seemed like I was using way 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 too much. <laughs> oh so I hope you all have been doing okay since we spoke two weeks ago or a little over two weeks ago. I was feeling really, really depressed. There were times where I thought about making videos back when I was unemployed, and I just did not, I could not concentrate. Like, I was just, I was really down in the dumps. It was really rough. 
but when I got that, I had it, I had the interview Thursday and they said, well, um, you know, you should hear an answer from us by the end of today. And I didn't hear anything. So like that whole night, all I could think about was like, man, did I blow the interview? I kept just playing the interview over and over in my mind. I'm like, did I, did I mess up somehow? Um, but I didn't get any sleep. I, when I finally did go to sleep, it had to have been after five o'clock. Uh, but then the phone rang at about 9 30, 10 o'clock. And they offered me the position. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and so they said, yeah, we're going to send you over the paperwork and everything so you can get started. The sooner, the better. So, um, I'm like, okay, that's great. I'll, I'll work on it. And as soon as I got the phone, I was like, I am going to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, I got the job. Oh, let me just. <laughs> so I ran and I told my husband and he's like, great. Um, he's like, good job. Congratulations. And I'm like, thanks, babe. He's such a man, a few words. So um, I s slept most of the day on and off the puppies would wake me up to let me know they had to go outside. So I would, you know, go down there, let them out, grab me a little something to eat, and then go back to bed. <laughs> but um, finally, I, I guess around 8 o'clock, because um, I was watching Friday Night Smackdown. You know I love my wrestling. If you didn't know, I love wrestling with a passion. I, I love me some WWE. But anyway, um... <laughs> I was watching uh, Friday Night Smackdown, and I'm like, you know what? This would be a good time to um, go ahead and get started on that onboarding. Um, so, that's, that's what I did. It took me about four hours to finish everything. But, I mean, I wasn't rushing. I would... I was, you know, like I was watching TV and, you know, I would take a break, grab something to eat, let the puppies out, grab me another little snack. <laughs> I did not feel rushed or compelled to rush to finish it. But it's so boring. I realized like, man, I hate when it's time to get a new job. Like all that paperwork you have to fill out and, you know, each job they want you know, it's like different information. Like um, this one wanted me to, um, you know, list my previous seven jobs. I'm like, oh my God, I've had so many jobs. <laughs> I've had so many jobs. Like I can't remember. So I was looking at my resume to, to help me. I'm like, oh God, thank, thank goodness for this resume because I don't know, I could not remember anything. Okay, so. Um, I went ahead and, uh, set, set my, um, my primer with the, with the setting powder and I'm going in with Dusty Rose. I think I'm just going to put it in my crease and see where that takes us. And honestly, I have no idea what this color looks like. I think I swatched it one time when I first bought this palette and I'm just like, okay, that's cute. And then just kept it moving. It's more on the cool side, and I tend to like using more warmer colors, but this is definitely reading cool, but I'm not mad at it because it's such a cloudy, icky day, and the cool tone kind of like matches, matches the weather. Mm -hmm. I'm just drawing it out a little bit, trying to get my shape, my desired shape. Okay. I 
Ouch. <laughs> this hair is like, <laughs> it's poking me. <laughs> it's like right on my shoulder. I'm like, what is going on here? Uh, have y'all been watching anything good on TV? If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I have HBO Max. I have uh, Amazon Prime. I have Tubi. Tubi's free. I had to, huh, I had to kind of like during my unemployment, <laughs> I had to like pick and choose my subscriptions. So I was like, man, I'm kind of tired of Netflix. So I got rid of Netflix. Or, you know, I, like, paused my membership. Um, and I paused Hulu. And you know what the funny thing is, though? I don't even miss it. Um, I still have my HBO Max because HBO Max has some of the best stuff. Like, I I love me some HBO. Um, and I have Amazon Prime because uh, I told you all about that that Lizzo show, Watch Out for the Big Girls. I love that show. Oh, I was thinking about watching it again today. I'm like, man, I'm bored. What am I going to watch? And I'm like, ooh, I could watch, you know, Big Girls again. I'm like, oh, let's, let's try and, like, keep keep it fresh, keep it moving, <laughs> new stuff. Because when I like something, especially, like, RuPaul's Drag Race, oh, my goodness, I could binge all the seasons. Um, but seasons four, five, and six, are like my absolute favorites of RuPaul's Drag Race. So those are like the the episodes that, or the seasons that I would binge. Um, so, uh, and Tubi has some really good stuff. Um, I was I was on Facebook and they were talking about Fred Savage uh, being um, removed from working on the reboot of uh, the Wonder Years under like abuse allegations or assault allegations and they had a picture of him I'm like mm -hmm. I know he wasn't no good like that time he killed Candace Cameron in that Lifetime movie I'm like man I wonder if I could find that movie and so I did a google search I'm like how can I find I forget at first I forgot the name of the movie so I had to google search that and it's called No One Would Tell and it's with Fred Savage and Candace Cameron and it's a story about them they're you know they're in high school and he's like star of the wrestling team and she's just like a really shy not too popular girl she has her her girlfriends and everything um like a, a small uh little clique of friends um and somehow you know the popular hunk in school uh takes an interest in her and then they start dating and they're like in love, but he's abusing her. And at first it starts with, you know, him being jealous with her hanging out with her friends. And if there's any guy that she talks to, he gets all jealous and everything. And then he starts like pushing her and like grabbing her arm. Um, long story short, she ends up dead. And so, you know, we already know what happened, you know, like who, who killed her. But, um, you know, you're going through, the process of them uh, finding finding him out and him like going to jail. And I'm like, yes, I remember. Like, I knew he was no good because he played that role way too well. <laughs> he played that role way too well. I'm like, yes, you know, there's some crazy ling lingering under the surface there. <laughs> but anyway, so I watched that and. There are a whole bunch of Lifetime movies up on, on Tubi. Uh, Mother May I Sleep With Danger, or maybe that was on, I think that was on Amazon because it's on my, on my watch list. But um, like 15 and Pregnant with uh, Kirsten Dunst, um, that was up there. There's just like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm like, oh my goodness, the Texas, I mean, the, the cheerleader deaths or death, death of a Cheerleader, that one's on Tubi, because um, I'm going to watch that. I saved it to my list. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to be a makeup tutorial. Let me keep on talking about the makeup. Oh, my goodness. I love me some TV, though. I love movies, but I get it, honestly. Like, my mom, 
my mom stayed watching movies. When I was younger, she would always watch Turner Classic Movies. And she knew all of the actors' names. So I kind of made it like a, a game. I'm like, I'm going to learn all these actors' names. So the next time that me and my mom are watching a movie, I'm going to beat her. I'm going to know more actors than her. <laughs> and sure enough, like the more I watched the movies, the more I fell in love with, with watching movies. Um, and we would always watch some Lifetime movies. It seemed like Sunday, Sundays were like the days where they would play the Lifetime movies. And oh my goodness. I just felt I was so grown, like, yes, I'm watching a grown-up movie with my mom. And I probably, I'm like, why is my mom letting me watch this stuff? <laughs> um, my mom would let me watch anything. Every once in a while, there'd be something that would happen. And she's like, Angela, go in your room. <laughs> or she would just like, oh, change the channel. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, what was that? Don't worry about that. <laughs> I'll never forget, um, me and my mom were watching um, a movie on Netflix. I think it was um, uh, the Millennium Trilogy, like Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. But um, it was the second one, The Girl Who Played with Fire. And there was like a lesbian sex scene. And like, we were not expecting it. But I mean, and it was, it was pretty graphic. And it was kind of like, kind of long and me and my mom were just like watching and we weren't expecting it and we're just like oh my I'm like okay Lisa get it girl <laughs> oh my goodness that was so funny <laughs> oh man funny stuff I have no idea what color I'm going to go in next with we did the, the dusty rose in the crease. What are we going to do on the outer corner and the lid? Okay. I think I'm going to do this cypress umber on the outer corners, this cool brown shade right here. I don't think it will be too, too bad, but let me get a different brush. And I have not... I have not cleaned my brushes. I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done with this video, but I'm just like, I've been slacking. And they're starting to shed. What in the world? Okay. So I'm just taking a little pencil brush. And I'm just applying this to my outer corner. So the outer corner and then up into the crease. Oh, this is so much fun. I've missed this. I'm so glad I'm back in a better headspace. Oh. like you're not yourself when you're worrying about everything. I'm just happy that I'll be able to buy stuff again. I don't have to like ask my husband like, hey, you love me? How much? Get this for me. And my husband's like, what do you want? I'm like, what makes you think I want something? <laughs> but he knows me. Especially when I get, I, I, I do get a little whiny. I'm like, Baby, he's like, what do you want? I'm like, can you buy this for me? It's like, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. I <laughs> just put it on my tab. <laughs> but he's so sweet. But um, 
the other day, um, I think it was Wednesday, I had another job interview and um, I'm sure I probably bombed that one. I, <laughs> so the, the company, apparently there's like two companies that have the same name and one is based out of Canada. And so I was researching the Canada one. And so, you know, I'm like all confident and shit when the interview starts. And I'm like, yeah, I see, you know, da, 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 da. And she's like, no. And I'm like, no. And she's like, is that the one based in Canada? I'm like, oh, yes, it is. And she's like, oh, yeah, no. I'm like, well, damn, I've been researching the wrong damn company. Fuck. So um, she said that uh the peer interview is next but and that was on Thursday so I didn't hear anything back but um I don't know I think I bombed that one <laughs> and then also like the job description it was either on Indeed or Career Builder the job description like made me think one thing um, but then when she was telling me what it was actually, I'm just like, oh, well, I mean, okay, cool. I'm still down for it. But, you know, I thought I was going to be doing A, B, and C, but I'm actually doing D, E, and F. Or, yeah, D, <laughs> D, E, <laughs> um, F. But I'm like, okay. But, I mean, it was just like so many miscommunications and misunderstandings that I'm just like, Oh, I think I bombed it. If they call me, I'm going to be like, oh, well, you know, thanks. But I already, you know, already got an offer from another position. But thank you so much for, uh, you know, getting back with me. <laughs> but I doubt they're going to call. I, that was the worst interview I ever had in my life. And it was on Zoom. I've never had a Zoom interview before. Okay. So, I don't know. Okay, so on the lid, I definitely want to do something nice and glitzy. But I don't know what color to go with. I don't know if I want to do something, you know, like gold. Or if I want to use this pink rose or sultry. I think I'm going to go in with sultry because... I think that would really bring out that dusty road. Like, it would just really complement them. So, let's go in with sultry. I'm feeling sultry. I'm feeling sultry. Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I think I think we should wet this to make it. Let me grab that real quick. It's still going. I thought I paused it. Okay. So, um I'm going to wet my brush. See if that brings out that glitter a little better. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're now we're cooking. Ooh. That is so pretty. Maybe I should just do a series, like, I'm just going to go through all of my palettes and just, like, do a look from each palette that I have and try and do something different than I've done in, in the past. 
Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. I'm really loving that. Another TV show that I'm trying to watch is The Staircase on HBO Max. It's with Colin Firth. Love him. And Toni Collette. Love, love, love her. She's such a good actress. I love her. Um, but I'm just like, I already know what's going to happen. I mean, it happened in North Carolina, not like too far from where we live. Like, it was the biggest scandal. Everyone talked about it. And I'm just like, ugh, why? Why revisit it? But, I mean, it's Tony Collette and Colin Firth, so, I mean, oh, kind of have to, because they're, they're the bomb. Um, this is a new shirt, and I already have dog hair up here. I haven't even been around the dogs. Like, what the heck? Okay, and then that's some of my hair. <laughs> Let's do something on the bottom lash, because looking a little... I don't know, kind of, mm. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go back in with the Cypress Umber and just line my bottom lash with that. I'm going to bring my mirror in a little closer. That was a little thicker than I wanted it to be, but, oh, I used the wrong brush. Oh, that's probably why. I like a more fine-tipped brush for when I'm doing my bottom lash. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, well. Kind of smooth. Budget out. Probably, maybe I should have went with Dusty Rose on the bottom lash. Good grief. Let's see. too bad it's just kind of thicker than I wanted it to but it still looks really really good and then let's line the, the top lash line because it looks like I have no lashes going on up there and I have no problem with this line being a little thicker The only thing that I miss about Hulu is that I don't have my Golden Girls anymore. Although I could probably replay every single episode in my head. But, you know, I don't think I would have been as depressed as I have been if I had access to Golden Girls. But you know what the really funny thing is? I have all seven seasons downstairs on DVD. But I don't have a DVD player in my room. I may have to borrow one from another room and put it in my bedroom. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's funny. Like every other TV is like connected to some kind of Blu-ray or DVD device, except for the one in my bedroom. Hmm. That needs to be rectified. Post haste. Real rookie tick. Okay. Much better, much better. So now we have kind of like a sultry kind of kind of a sultry smoky thing going on. And I am loving for it. What do you guys think? I don't know. I just <laughs> that bottom lash line is really bothering me. I'm going to thin it out just a little bit. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip. Clean that up a little bit. I think that's a little better. I think that's a lot better. Mm hmm. And then let's do some mascara because that will really make everything be okay. Ha! Ah. Oh. Okay, there's the lashes. They're there. I wonder how Michael Peterson feels about being portrayed in a TV show by Colin Firth. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how people feel. Like, how did, um, what was his name, Steve Nash? How did he feel being portrayed by Russell Crowe in A Beautiful Mind? I just wonder about things like that sometimes. <laughs> Like, how does Michelle Obama feel about Viola Davis portraying her on that TV show? I don't even know. I think it's called First Lady or something like that. I don't know. I haven't even. I just saw it on my news feed on Facebook one day. I'm just like, oh, that's a choice. I mean, I think it's, it's not a bad choice at all. But I just wonder how Michelle feels about it. <laughs> but Viola Davis is fierce. I think she she's living it. Okay, and I am loving this look. Oh my gosh. A little cooler, but still really, really pretty. I'm loving it. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video and listening to me, like, you know, rant and talk about TV. But those are like my favorite things makeup and TV and food. Oh my goodness. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking out my video, and I will see you all in the next one. Mwah!
Bye.